know what happened to you. No one should have to go through that, especially a child. I am not a child! You are, even though they tried taking that away from you. But why come after us? Not them, just you. I don't understand. This is your fault! Everything I am is because of you! You're mixed up. I didn't know anything about this. You're lying! on this planet who understands you. And maybe the closest thing you have to family. No, I... I can't have a family! I can't! Your feelings don't fight them anymore. Let them win. everyone and welcome to another mutating episode of Trip Around the Multiverse with your hosts the oh, I can't even think of a f funny one to do with her. Um the clone of the I whatever, Kyle Chuck give me the 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 female clone slash daughter of Wolverine because yeah. kind of she is and she isn't both ways which is a I yeah. look depends on how you, the retcon works right yeah okay. yeah and I, I I am the, the the teenage girl with adamantium coated claws but not coated skeleton yeah and we are doing another spotlight episode and if you can guess we are talking about the Daughter of Wolverine, to, like. Well, okay. you said, let me ask you some questions about that. All right. Yeah. Uh, but but the intro finish the introduction first, and then. Oh yeah, of um the clone daughter of the best at what he does, Wolverine X twenty three, or she's Wolverine again now. Yeah, which yeah. is awesome. But yeah, Laura Kinney. Yeah, Laura Kinney. Right? Yeah. So, so you know more about this character than I do. Yes, so, I do. Uh, yeah, I just got, I, I got to ask you to clear up something. I know mainly from the movie, but I do know bits and pieces, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so, from what I'm reading, she was initially. Okay, tell, correct me with, when I'm wrong, yeah. But yeah. They tried to clone Wolverine, except that the the in the DNA that they had, yeah, the Y chromosome was damaged. So yes. they were like, all right, well. How about we just replicate the X chromosome because yep. we have that, and she'll be a female, okay? Yeah. And then they took about twenty-three regenerations to get to Laura Kinney version X twenty-three, hence the name X twenty-three. Yeah. Because Weapon X and twenty-three version. Yeah, but basically you're kind of right because they done twenty-two attempts, and that's when okay. he realised that the if they make it into a woman, well, a female, it'll work. And that's oh, so, so they tried to be a guy. They tried to do an exact clone for 22 times. Yeah. Okay. And they realized, oh, let's change but, the chromosome. Yeah. But, and that would make her the legit clone, except that I think later on. Yep. Is it Susan Kinney? Who, who's the lady scientist? Sarah Kinney. Sarah Kinney. Yep. She decided to add her DNA yeah. to the Wolverine DNA, making X23 his daughter and not yeah. his clone. Yeah, because. It makes kind of makes more sense to do it that way because then that's where you can get around like yeah it's her daughter his daughter because she was actually born rather than the Superboy way made in the test tube and an incubator which wait hold on okay that's what I was going to also say yeah. Con L Superboy yep. is is the son of Lex Luthor and Superman right yeah 
but it doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. but it, it, it's replicating... He's replicating... See, if he was the clone of Superman, you'd say he's Superman's brother, right? Yeah. But as he's a clone of part DNA from someone else and someone and, and Superman, he's, he's the son, right? Yeah. Same with Laura, right? She's... Yeah. yeah. Because she's not straight up cloned from just his DNA. Yes, that okay. is... Now you've made the Superboy thing make more sense to me now. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Kyle is questioning it. Like, why... Because, like, Clark Kyle goes on that Connor is his brother. Yeah. But realistically, like you're saying, because it's two DNAs make one person, yeah. he would be his son. Yeah. Yeah. I don't get the feeling always that Clark treated Connor all... Um... Always like someone younger than him, the, he, he, little brother slash son ish, but more along that line. That's not an son, equal. Son. If yeah, 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 yeah. So much younger than him. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, so is she? Is is Laura Kinney? Yep. Kind of the new Kitty Pride slash Jubilee for Wolverine. Because he always has to have a teenage psychic for some reason. Um. Not really. Cause like, Not the new, the latest then, yeah? Like, sort of now, he's kind of took her more under a wing as, like, a partner sort of thing. But, because she's always sort of been on her own, sort of living in his shadow, yeah. it was more of, like, I'm trying to set my own path rather than him teaching me to be the best at what I do sort of thing. All right. Uh, okay. So, did you start collecting it when... She came, uh, first made an appearance, or she just happened to be in the X Men and you were collecting X Men at the time? No, at the time when she appeared, I wasn't really reading the main X Men. I was reading like Ultimate X Men, and and I was more like in depth, more into the Ultimate Universe because it had less baggage at the time. And it wasn't until she appeared in season, I think it's three of X Men Evolution. Because that's where she was created, obviously. She was made from. She was made in the cartoon, and then they... Because she got such a good reception, she, they brought her into the... Oh, okay. Uh, and clarify, in the cartoon, yeah. she was... The clone. The exact female clone of Wolverine? Yes. Okay. Yeah, they didn't do the whole... Um... Oh, in the cartoon also, did she have ad fully adamantium skeleton, or just the claws? Just the claws? The, the claw on her foot as well? Yeah. Okay. And how they introduced her in that, like, yeah. she escaped from the facility and she wanted to kill Wolverine because her life is basically, I'm a weapon, that's all I am, no one cares. And she's jealous of that Wolverine didn't stop it and how he's around all these other kids, but he can't be around her. And he's like... I didn't even know you existed today. Yeah, okay. So this is the logic that we fall into, as always, right? For yeah. some reason, yeah? Um, so you're angry at the person you're, who has nothing directly to do with your situation. Yep. Other than, like, something tangibly, right? Oh, yeah. yes, DNA or whatever, right? You gave birth to whatever, right? They don't know about you. Yeah. So you're angry at them and not all the people that actually put you in the situation? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is um, entertainment logic, isn't it? No, but then you got to think about it like this. I, I I say it the same way as well, right? Yeah. But it's also I, I don't say pure villain logic, but you know them them that the, the kind of selfish logic where you have. So I commit a crime, right? Yeah. I get caught, right? Yeah. But literally, it's my own fault that I committed the crime and got yeah. caught, right? But then it's like, no, the policeman caught me, and therefore I'm gonna have my revenge on the policeman. It's like, yeah. Wait. It's like what? Yeah. <laughs> what, You're the what? problem here. Yeah. Exactly. 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 <laughs> Even though she's not the problem here, that's no. the same sort of logic where she's following. It's like, yeah, you know, it's like, oh, okay. So she, she grabbed her, threw, cloned, got himself deliberately cloned, threw in the cage, and said, "Yeah, you people, just do, just do what you want with her." Yeah, she's yours now. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, <laughs> just, so yeah, so yeah, so she appears in that, uh, and they're like, then Wolverine sort of tells her i'm just like you you know i was a weapon and then i broke free and now i have my own life now so she's like hey good idea i'm gonna do the same so then they kind of fake her death so the um 
facility that made her can't find her. Yeah. So then she goes on a run. Then she appears again in episode, another episode in season four of the last season. And they've um, found out where she is. So Wolverine goes to help her. Um, and this is where they introduce Mega Ray to the cartoon as well. And then once again, they fake her death. Okay. So she could be free of a silly and... But she, okay, would you say she only got popular because she was literally a female clone of Wolverine and nothing else? Or did she actually have, like, as, as, as much charisma as you can have for a 2D animated object, if, if you know what I mean? Because, yeah. you know, sometimes it's the physical movement, uh, how it's drawn, it's the delivery, and, and how the character mo- uh, is, I don't know, you know, body language, stuff like that? I think. Because it's something new as well, I think that's what kind of caught people's attention. Because, you know, at this point, Wolverine was around for about 40 years or whatever, and he's sort of done everything. It, it, it wasn't just a lazy gender swap. No. Nah. It, 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 it brought something new to the table. Yeah, because, like, you know, she's a clean slate, really. <laughs> so it's like something new. Yeah. It's like when they do other versions of, like, Batman or Spider-Man because it's with another character using that mantle it gets popular because it's freshens up that character yeah well yeah. so I say that Monica that makes sense cool uh, uh, all right and then okay so do you know I, I this is what I read right yeah. and you have to explain to me if you say you started collecting uh you were collecting at age 23 was in it from the beginning no. I mean, from the beginning of the point that you, you were reading it, right? No, because she sort of... Because I have the issue where she does appear. Because um, she first appears again as this character called Talon. And it's kind of like a weird version of her comic book, you know, X-Men Evolution introduction. Yeah. And then she disappears again. And then I think it's like... 2004 is when they sort of do her true origin, like adding her to be Wolverine's daughter and going off to live in New York to be a weird prostitute. Don't yes, know. okay, that's what I was going to get to. That's yeah. what I was going to get to. First of all, this, she's meant to be like a, 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 a... How old is she, right? So I know you start making things up, right? Yeah. How old is she when she first appears? Uh... About 15. Okay, and that's when the weird background story is happening as well? Yeah. I, so, yeah, I think she's about 16 when the weird background story All right, because I was going to say, it's like, Marvel, please, you got to, you know, that's yeah. a bit. I mm-hmm. mean, it, it, the thing is, they don't, they don't never show it, right? No, but it's but implied. Even reference it is a bit of a dodgy line. Even yeah. if you say that's in the past and whatever, you know? Yeah. Because um, you're... You, you're it doesn't look... Is it even necessary in her story? No. Not particularly, you know? It's not as if they caught her, for example, right? Yeah. Tried to induct her in that life, and she just slashed them all up. That's different, right? Yeah. But no. Um. So they had... Okay, so they had the weirdness that you, you we were both speaking about. But... I, she, God. It's because... They never sort of applied that she's a prostitute, but they sort of apply that people hire her to beat the crap out of her because obviously she can heal and stuff, in it. Yeah. Yeah, but she's okay, involved uh, with, like, teen prostitutes, so it's kind of not implied, but implied at the same time. Okay, so where they think they were, it was like a sadist thing where they hire her to beat her. And... Yeah. What? Okay, that's better than being... Oh, okay. Yeah, a, it's, a, a, mm. a teen prostitute is worse, right? <laughs> yeah. I know you're saying oh, she's beating whatever, right? But you, you say it, it probably would be a teen prostitute against her will, most likely. And yeah. yes, okay, being, being, being this person is still bad, but at the same time, you know what, yeah. actually? Yeah, you know what? It's a weird most one, most isn't most it? Most of bad. Yeah. Actually, um, but, but, okay, this is what I was saying to, about Wolverine before. You know how... Yes, he can heal, yeah, but doesn't mean he doesn't hurt, right? Yeah. So I guess it depends on how... Because she doesn't have the admiratium to get in the way of her healing factor other than the claws. Yeah. You could say that the instant she gets hit, it starts healing right away, so the pain's just very minimal, but comics, you know, Wolverine can uh, heal from a, 
uh, nuclear bomb in three panels. So whatever. yeah, exactly. So she could do it in two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, at, at that point, does she even feel pain? Who who knows exactly, right? Yeah. Uh, according to their logic, except that you know, in the comics, when she's get she's in fights and stuff, I'm pretty sure there's panels where she's actively shown getting hurt, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, so I think. Is, during this sort of period of her story, we'll say, she was, like, oblivious to pain, if you know what I mean. She sort of blocked that pain herself because she was being wind-wiped so many times. She just Oh, no... is it, by the way? Because there's, yeah. there's, there's, there's a difference between being used to the feeling of pain. Yeah. Uh, you know, as you said, actively, mentally being, dubbing it out. And actually being uh, insensitive to pain. You, you, have you heard of that condition? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, congenial insensitivity to pain, right? Yeah. If she had that, that's different. Yeah. Because you know? hmm. then you could have her being beaten up and whatever. Yeah. Some people like to be abusers and whatnot, right? Uh, yeah. But as, a, as, as hired out as one, right? Yeah. And because she doesn't feel the pain. Not that it makes it any better in any sense, but it's just like, well, the character doesn't feel the pain. She heals from it. And she's making money from it, so I guess kind of. I mean, it's still bad, but at still the same bad, time, yeah. It, it just it, at least then it's less bad that she doesn't feel the pain. Yeah, because also she used to at this point when she was living on the streets of New York, she was self harming as well because okay. she was like she became a mute and she just cut herself just to. Do okay, her stuff. Uh, uh, and, and, and and all right. So this is what uh, this is the other things, right? Yeah. So Wolverine is five foot three, okay? Yeah. yeah. Or was. And... <laughs> well, he was. I'm saying, I'd... he still is short. Yeah, yeah, carry on. Carry on. No, no, okay, yeah. But after Hugh Jammer took the role, Wolverine shot up a couple of inches, right? Hugh Jammer's like six two or something like that. Yeah, about that, yeah. And I think, so how tall is Cyclops? He must be at least about six foot. Yeah. And Wolverine is not drawn that much shorter than Cyclops. Yeah. He's not drawn the midget that he actually is. I'm not calling him a midget, but you know what I mean. Like yeah. The, the, uh, how, if they hired some guy to actually be the side Wolverine for the movies, he would not be as popular. No, he wouldn't at all because he'd be and super Laura, <laughs> Laura is shorter than Wolverine. She's no, I think she's taller than him. She took, well, here, okay, here's the issue, right? He's yeah. short and stocky, so he's wide as well, right? Yeah. She's slim. As they always draw females, right? Yeah. So it's the illusion of looking taller than him uh, because she's not as uh, she she's more slender. Huh. Or is she legit taller than him? Because she I must think be she's five foot one. No, nah, she must be legit taller than him. Because like, I know like Rogan people are taller than Wolverine, so she must be. I'll have to check a comic at some point. Yeah, I think she's meant to be officially... That's what I was, I was going to question. It's like, is she drawn taller than Wolverine? Because she's definitely supposed to not be taller than Wolverine. Uh, but then it's always up to whoever's drawing it. You would have think they have an official Marvel handbook saying, this person is this high. Yeah. <laughs> and this weight. Um, hmm. Yeah. Taller than... So, okay, so how long did the... Very awkward backstory of Laura go on for before. Did they wreck on it or did they just leave it out or did they just never reference it again? Um, They sort of don't re re reference it anymore. Okay. Just pretend it never happened. Yeah, sort of, yeah. Whose idea was it? Which writer? Um, Let me tell you. It was... Alright. It yeah. was... Oh, Joe Casado, apparently. Oh, cool. He legit wrote that. Yeah. All right. Well, then again, I was going to say maybe they're trying to be dark and edgy, right? But it's Joe Casada. He just ripped one more. Like, I, I, yeah, uh, he ripped one more day of Spider-Man. Uh, I question sometimes the stuff that he does. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, fine. Why well, to be fair, it might not have been his idea. But then again, he he's like a uh, creative director or whatever of Marvel at that point. So, yeah. Yeah, it's a weird... 
Unless I was thinking, they still thought, okay, this character isn't going to get big as it was. So, eh, we just write this and hopefully she'll go away. But no. <laughs> she. Yeah, back by the... right? Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, but... whenever you hear anything else talk about X-23, they don't really mention this, if you know what I mean. Especially, so... like, when Marvel try and spotlight that character, <clears throat> they don't really mention that at all. Okay, but 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 she's not li- like okay. So why are you a fan of this character? Oh, I'm a fan, obviously, because she is. I'm a fan of like legacy characters and characters that have like kids that are sort of similar to them and have a weird relationship. I like why I like all the Batman's Robins and psychics because of that okay. weird <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. family dynamic between them, and that's why I sort of like her because she's like the better version of wolverine like physically she's the better version of wolverine because she's got age on her side and well uh, so was she created before darken yes okay then uh, look my logic is wait why are you having female quote a clone of wolverine slash daughter but i clone at that time and then you're having a, a son of wolverine yeah I mean, right? But and even both of their backstories is they were going to try and cook, kill Wolverine. But darker, yeah, yeah, because Darken was created in two thousand seven. Yeah. And yeah, I can see what you mean, but I guess they see this logic as Wolverine's like two hundred years at this point. He has yeah. more. He's possibly gonna have more than one child because no way he's on the earth unless have any kids. Okay. And well. then I think Darken's like origin of stuff is more connected with other people as well, so it kind of is a thing, I guess. Uh, I know Winter Soldier's connected that backstory somehow, right? Yeah, he's the one that killed Darken's mom. Okay. While she was pregnant with him. Yeah. Wait. Okay, hold on. Not Star Trek, so. She was pregnant with him, right? Yep. And with Soldier, they killed her. Yep. And Darker still survived. Yep, because his mutant ability kicked in. Of healing, right? Yeah. Okay. Which makes sense. I mean, it's 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 kind of you're like okay, you know when you say there's the theory and there's the application, and whether the practical actually works or not. Yeah. That's that's one of them right there. You're like, you know what? I have an idea. Yeah. Healing factor. Pregnant lady. She gets killed. Does the baby survive? question mark right yeah and then they just start executing it like well he has to have his mutant ability kick it even though they don't usually kick in until they're teenagers yeah because i think it kicked in to save him and then it went and then it manifested again when he was older when he started using his powers to manipulate people all right well that kind of that kind of makes sense yeah Oh, wait, wait so her he okay so when she was created right yeah was it like connor where she was a teenage no child? They forced her mutation early. No, no, as in, was she born uh, a child? Yeah, yeah, she was born. born she's, well, yeah, both scenarios. The com- the cartoon version and the comic book version. Yeah, she was born a baby. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Oh, so they bred her from, uh, like... Childhood. Babyhood. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So basically, Infancy, when she was a baby, it. she was getting beats. Yeah, basically. Oh, okay. okay. Not to make anything sound better than before now, right? All right. But if, if if you don't know anything else but that at that point, yeah, it it it, it just becomes casual to you. You just accept it as part of life, right? Yeah, yeah. Like uh, you know the child soldiers in the, in in uh, Africa and stuff like that. Yeah, the same. They don't know thing. anything but the war. Yeah. So, yeah. And like the reason why she's sort of starting to rebel against it because when they'll put her on missions and stuff like go kill this ambassador or whatever. Yeah. And like for her to blend in and stuff, she'd be like parks and she would like see kids with their parents and things like that. And yeah. she was sitting there like, why do they have this? And I don't, this seems a bit uh, weird. Yeah, that yeah. kind of like triggers her whole like, something's yeah, not yeah. right about all this. Yeah. yeah. That does, uh, that does make sense. Yeah. That does make sense. Um, a bit like, a uh, Cassie Kane, right? Yeah. Are the backstories similar? Like Batgirl and uh, Asian Batgirl, we're gonna have to call her Black Bat Orphan. Either one, I I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, Black Bat Orphan, it's all the same. Yeah, yeah. It, I don't know because didn't it hurt 
her dad, well, Cass, Black Bat's dad kind of had more to do with her upbringing, right? Yeah, he, he reared her from birth to Teenage not be able to speak. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, so she could just read physical movements. Yeah. And know what, how to deal with... Yeah, it gets to a point where he's so powerful, he can deal with super-powered people at, <laughs> as well. Yeah. Depending on their power set. Um, yeah. Both X-23 was more like the facility sort of bred her, and she did have some human interaction. Like, she got on well with her one of her masters, and then they sort of realised there was growing a bond. So they made her kill him, but she didn't know. Because you know about her um, trigger scent, right? No, no, I do not. Okay. Well, um, the facility... I need to find, remember what the name is. But um, they created this scent that when she smells it, she goes into her berserker mode, her berserker rage okay. and just kills everything in with that smell yeah. on it. Yeah. So... They put it on the sword when they were training. So she smelt it and she just murdered yeah. the guy. Okay. And that broke her mentally, like, physically, like, emotionally as well. It's like, wow, one of the only guys that's sort of like in the facilities that show me, treat me as a human being, yeah. I murdered. Great. And then she got another handler who, what her name was? Kamora? If I remember correctly. And her mutant abilities were, yeah, she doesn't feel pain. And she used to just beat the crap out of her all the time. <laughs> Literally. I think she's dead at this point. Yeah. But well, no one stays dead in the X-Men, so... Uh... Oh, yeah, well, like, this, okay, this is what I'm getting from this character, right? As yeah. you're saying, right? All she, all, all she ever does is basically try to live her life and everyone's just backslapping her. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Until the point where she's like, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm you know... I mean, look, when, when does it stop? When, when did the beating stop? When, well, <laughs> it only, well, okay, only... Uh, hold on. technically they never do because when she's with the X-Men, she's getting in fights, uh, like with, uh, when she's with them, like as a group fights against them. Yeah. So the beatings are still continuing, you know. But it's more, she's an, a, an accepting participation in that rather than <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's okay. just... Okay, that's fair as well. Because like, yeah, her, her whole... Life until she meets Wolverine in the comics is like crap. Because she also, you you know how she gets out of the facility, right? No, no, tell me. Oh, so her mum Sarah Kinney, Kinney yeah. she's a part of the experiment as well, and she tried to stay like detached from the whole thing. Yeah. But the more and more she was there, the more and more she was like, "This is my daughter. They're doing this too." And so she kind of like comes off a plan to get X twenty three out, yeah. and the big boss of it kind of realizes that, and he tries to kill Sarah, but she survives. But then Sarah and Laura escape, and somehow he planted, I think, some little bomb on her with the scent on it so it kind of went off so it was literally at the vicinity Sarah's like yeah we're out of here let's go yeah. and it went off and then the trigger sense went off and Laura ends up killing her mum okay and then she's like oh now I'm truly alone okay well they had I, I don't want to say they had to because they didn't have to but that's 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 how it is when you want to make a beat Oh, you, okay, not necessarily deep, right? But you want to make a, a, a backstory for a character in a quick fashion, in sort of a shallow way as well, kind of. Yeah, yeah. You got to fast forward all those certain traits and drop them in, like, okay, this is the situation, right? Yeah. You don't have to do that, but they, they want to get to the point that they need to as quickly as possible. Yeah. Because as, as... she was a l angry child. You could say that, yeah. Because yeah. other, they also introduced that um, Sarah's. I mean, sorry. Um, yes, Sarah X twenty three's mum has yeah. like a sister, yeah, and her sister has a daughter who live in San Francisco. And X twenty three met them, but she didn't know it was her family because Sarah's she sister. Oh no, no, no! Because um, Sarah's sister's daughter gets yeah. abducted, so X twenty three 
mum borrows her from the facility to hunt her to find her because only you know x 23 has got the scent she could track stuff just like wolverine work stuff yeah so she saves the family and when sarah dies she gives x 23 his note saying if you're ever in trouble go seek out your your aunt and your cousin yeah so then she does and then she reaches out to wolverine yeah but yeah well, okay so when you say they reach out to Wolverine, all right, well, we'll, we'll, um, we'll compare it to the movie later, but yeah. how did they, in this version, come, did they just say, oh, Wolverine's in the X-Men? We know where the X-Men are. We'll send a letter over there. Nah, it's sort of weird because, if I remember correctly, this could be slightly wrong, so no one come at me for this. Yeah. Um, X-23's mum left, like, its package with um, her sister saying, if anything happens to me, open and reach out to this person and then so when x23 goes to the house she gives her the box and then this is when x23 is like he's the reason for all my problems <laughs> and then she she get um her aunt reaches out to wolverine so he's camping and all this stuff and x23 hunts him down thinking that she's on top of it he's like I heard you about a mile away. I know you're here. So <laughs> she comes to kill him. Yeah. And because obviously she knows how to kill Wolverine, doesn't she? Yeah. She's, she, he goes, right, you can kill me now, but what does that, what do you get from this? Yeah. I can help you. And, and they have a very like, absent father daughter chat. <laughs> right, right. And then, yeah, he sort of lets her go. Until a few months later where Captain America comes knocking saying, yeah, um, your daughter's wanted by S.H.I.E.L.D. for the murder of this president, this person, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And Daredevil gets involved as well because he's her lawyer. Yeah. And Wolverine basically says to Cap, she's just like you and me. We're, we were weapons for our governments and she's just a kid. You got to sort of let her live her life. Let her come with me. And then that's how she joins the X-Men. Right. <coughs> yes. Okay. Uh, how many issues did this take place upon? Because the way you sound it makes it sound kind of... It's de a dense story. No, it's like but... two different stories. Like two different... Huh? Um, uh, uh, the first one is called Innocent Loss. Yes. Yeah. That's the one where she's at... They b give her a backstory and stuff like... Yeah. Her creation and all that stuff. And then the one after that was just talking about where she gets arrested by S.H.I.E.L.D. and Captain America and that stuff. That's another one called Target X. Yeah, so would you say what this is like 12 issues across the board? Yeah, and then okay. after that's that NYX, which okay. we don't really talk about. <laughs> why, why don't we talk about NYX? Because the whole weird possible child prostitution. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all yeah. right, then. So, wait, wait. so when they developed the character, they didn't have this other NYX. We just call it the NYX, right? Yeah. NYXXX even, right? But yeah. So when when okay, in the first couple of appearances, it was it had it was a bad story that was kind of dark and tragic, right? Or whatever, yeah. Right. Yeah. And then someone like Joker started decided to work in a whole set of really awkward backstory. Yeah. Which like sometimes is, things is a. Maybe an else world, what if? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. At, at this point, everyone else has ignored it and it does kind of exist, but it doesn't exist, right? Yeah. We joke as well, yep. Yeah, because everything else is referenced when it comes to X23, except for this. So, yeah. Okay, so basically, just skip it and people don't reference it if they don't need to. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. All right, okay, that's, that's, that's good. Um, so, compared to the. Okay. The version in Logan, right? Yep. I really like that version, actually. Yeah, I same. Really good in, uh, as a uh, female clone of, you know, a representation of, because it wasn't, ex look, as far as I know, it's not exact X-23. No. But it, it's close that enough. movie universe version of X-23 that works with that story. Yeah. And it didn't take that much... The creative liberties made sense for a film. You know, sometimes a lot of these like Marvel films, all these comic book films, 
they change things for no reason, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it kind of makes some of the characters' story and development a bit weird. Yeah. But this one kind of made sense. Especially yeah. in their universe they set up, it made sense. Yeah. Well, at that point as well, Wolverine is like old and ragged and whatnot. Yeah. Right? So he's essentially dying a slow death. Yeah. Um, then you have Laura, the young version of him. Yeah. At this point, she she's straight up clone. Yeah. Uh, female clone. And then no, you have she's the... his daughter because her mum's in this as well. Oh, really? Yeah, they mention her. She dies. Before the oh, other no, man gets around, oh, no, no, no. I, I thought I thought she was straight up cloned from him. Nah. And they 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 tweak the DNA, and the lady looking after her. Not actually her her mother. Nah. Um, they mentioned Sarah Kenny in it. They say that she died. Yeah, yeah, but, but that's yeah. what I'm saying. They, so, they, they, in this in in Logan, yeah. they didn't say that her DNA was part of X23. Yeah, they do. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Because he just showed her being born. <laughs> maybe I, maybe they did that and I forgot it. Yeah. Uh, but then, yeah, they make X-24, which is the legit... Clone clone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> the baby... Okay, the, the physical clone, but the mental... Mentality of a child-ish? I don't know. The I think he doesn't even have a mentality. I think he's just, like, a tat dog, sort of. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it was originally this, meant to be... Um, Saber tooth, but Karen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but what it is is it's more like okay, the, the clones of Wolverine make sense uh, in this story. Yeah. <clears throat> and um, yeah, she. I thought the character was quite impressive, actually. Yeah, um, she was cool. Yeah, but it also showed you, right? Wolverine without his like when you when you when you you know depower the healing factor, yeah. he can't. Not that he can't do much, but you know he he, he suffered from an abandoning poison. He's been old and all that stuff, right? Yeah, things are catching up to him. Uh, but even though she had the healing factor, she didn't have the physical strength to do the stuff he could do as well. Yeah. So I don't want to say she had shortcut fights there, yeah, but she had to go for killing shots. Yeah. And then but... she didn't have his fighting ability. As in, let's be fair, right? Wolverine does not even really have much of a fighting ability. No. Right? <laughs> but she would just tank shots as well. Like she took that grappling hook through her chest. Yeah. She didn't even set it. Yeah, she didn't, did she? No. <laughs> um, but but uh, and I would say Wolverine. Like even though he can, like supposedly he can fight, right? But I've never seen a comic that he does ev- anything really than other than just try to take shots to get inside range. They slash people with the claws. Um, they have done it, but it's not in, it's normally when he doesn't use his claws, he, yeah. like, that mini-series, if I remember correctly, Wolverine is Shadowcat, where he was being a samurai, yeah, he used all that samurai skill stuff there, but like you say, normally it's just claws out, stabby stabby. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah so I, I like her fighting style there, though, because it was different, I mean, mm. she had to make use of her... First of all, right? Genetically templated, right? I mean, yeah. how do you do Blackfoot to all those gymnastics? You're a kid. You have practiced in your little cell that they bred you in. You know, your padded walls and stuff. How do you do backflips? How do you know where to shank a man? To, to nah, she was trained to murder. No, no, in, 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 in the movie? Yeah. Okay. See, that's why the gov- um, the facility want her back because they've trained her to do all that stuff. Like the other kids, they just maybe, want... Maybe- you know what? I, I mean, it's a good movie. It's a good movie. So I, I would like to give it a rewatch, anyways. Yeah. Yeah. But maybe it's just like from what I'm remembering since I last watched it. But you're telling me, okay, train to kill a man. Yes, yes, yes. That's 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 uh, that's fine, right? Yeah. I mean, that, that's what it is, right? Yeah. But train to do flippy gymnastics. Yeah. Is what I mean. That's what they. They wouldn't mean. just be like, "Yo, Sarah. I mean, uh, Laura. You got to do a black. You got to know how to do to to take flip bumps." And if she doesn't, they tease her. Yeah. She was born, okay. she was bred to kill, wasn't it? Oh, do you reckon what they did was like, okay, we're going to have these long range tasers, uh, Laura, right? And you're going to either get hit or you're going to have to dodge them. Yeah. And that's how she learned to do her flippy gymnastics. Yeah, of course. She had the best okay. coaches, you know, those ex Russian gymnast coaches that just. It's true, it's true. The crap out of you. Like, um, 
when, when you got all them uh, black widows and all that other stuff that everyone that's been trained from birth to like yeah uh like I say even the gymnastics just you, i mean you literally do not beat the kids until they know the move but i can expect them here to do that yeah because you know they have to follow they don't have to follow rules <laughs> you know yeah <laughs> And they're all scumbags, so yeah, they'll do stuff like that. Oh, yeah. But the gist of these, uh, uh, well, I don't know if you said, said okay. how efficient would a teenage, not even a teenage, a prepubescent girl be as an assassin? Very, really, because you wouldn't expect it. Yeah, yeah, it's up to a huge fine, right? Yeah. But at some point, I don't know. Because. Okay, for 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 for, for uh, Cass- Cassandra Kane, right? Yeah. Because she can read body language, I can expect her to fight everyone that yeah. she encounters. Yeah. Uh, and knows how to identify their weaknesses. Yeah. As as you, you they logically explain the coming, but how logically it is in real life, whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she can take people that are bigger than her because she knows where to hit them, right? And how yeah. to how to read movements. Fine, yeah. I accept that in 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 what you presented to me. Mm-hmm. X twenty three. Yeah, I would expect like sh- if she's fighting someone that's a a brute size, right? Yeah, I mean, fair enough. She's got the claws to stab them, but if she's, I don't know. Like, I can expect her to get punted across the room. I still come back, but what I'm saying is, she's small and lightweight. You know. Yeah. Big guy. If she jumps on a big guy, he's just grab and throw across the room, uh, in like throw out the window or something like that. You know, she is basically just like Cassandra Kane. She knows all that stuff as well, right? Oh, really? I did not know that. I did yeah. not know that. That's what I'm saying. She's to that same stuff as well. Yeah, she's like bred. She's been taught by all these martial artists, all that stuff. She's. I said that's why she's like the perfect weapon because she. Oh, okay. So they trained her that style. Okay. Yeah, because even in like sort of fights with when she's in fights with like when Wolverine's there as well, she's like yeah. she gives him like points like why are you letting this happen? You should be doing this. Da, da, da. And she's like, he's like, thanks. Um, I know what I'm doing. He goes, well, obviously you don't. That's what she's like. She gives him that, that, that guff about him being lazy when it comes yeah, to yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff there. Good yeah. stuff there. But let me just then ask you, right? Yep. Because I, I, I didn't, I didn't feel that was, I, I never felt she was trained in martial arts because of the NYX storyline. It was just like, if you could train to do that stuff, why are you allowing yourself to be put in this situation? Because at this point, she was brainwashed again. So she was just a blank slate. Okay. Yeah. All right. I mean, I don't know how much I accept it, right? <laughs> well, oh. I'm just like, all right, whatever, you know? Yeah, it's one of those whatever. And I just, like I said, just one no one really... You know, it just seemed to me like, oh, I've, we've written it in there to write it in there because we went in there. Yeah. And then we'll just... That's it. Nothing else. What you know? What 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 happened? What happened? Huh? Moving on. Literally, that's literally what it is. No one sort of. It's like you got them Batman stories where things happen and you just pretend it never happened. Like when Alfred got his arm cut off and then he had his arm back. No one spoke about it. Oh, it's his hand cut off. But uh... oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, let me let me fix that up for you. Yeah, sure, you're all right. He yeah. got his hand cut off, right? Yep. And then. They got a replacement hand or his old hand because Batman being a never being a joker, right? Uh, being a joker, a jokester, I should say. Yeah. Right. He, he, they 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 turned the time back on. It's moving fine, and then uh, Alfred's like, "Yeah, so it's, it's strange that you managed to get an exactly similar hand." And I mean, you managed to turn my hand back on, and and, and then Bruce said, "Who said? Whoever said I got your own hand sewn back on you?" Oh. <laughs> and then and then Alfred's like. You are Jacob Master Bruce, right? And then Batman just no saying it. Yeah. But like yeah, um, it's like sort of things like that. When Commissioner Gordon was Batman and now he's not, no one spoke about it ever again. Fair, fair, fair enough, fair yeah. enough, fair enough. Um So okay, when 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 X twenty three was <clears throat> gonna be in uh, the Logan movie, mm. right? Where you what were you expecting of it? I because of the Logan movie, people kept throwing out it's going to be like Old Man Logan and all this. Yeah. I wasn't expecting much yeah. in a way. Because <laughs> like, I don't get how this is going to work. Because Old Man Logan, to me personally, is a terrible comic. But 
Well, this, hold on, okay. let, let me just let me just uh, say all. I think look, <clears throat> I've not read Old the Man Logan, right? But we I will. like the we concept will. of him being old and dying in the the world around and moving on for the next generation, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and he's not the biggest, baddest. Well, he never was the biggest, but you know, the, the, yeah. the, the, the guy you won't cross anymore. He's just like a, a jabroni. You're like, this guy's a punk. Yeah. Like the idea of that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then he obviously comes back of his edge or whatever. But, yeah. Oh, no, that's wrong. <laughs> no, no, no. No, yeah, no, no. But, uh, like, you know, just like at some point. Okay, but, but, like the concept of Old Man Logan, not the actual execution of Old Man Logan. The I mean, like, like, the film version did it a lot better than the comic yeah. version. Because the comic version is stupid. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. To, well, it starts off good and it just turns. As soon as you get to the Old Man Logan part, it's stupid. It's but done. um, so wait, wait. So you were here. So you were hearing about X twenty three. Yeah, when I heard about X twenty three, it kind of like perked up my interest. More. I was like, you know what? This could, depending on how they do it, it it could work. Yeah. And then seeing her in it, I liked how they did her, and I liked her interactions with Wolver with Logan because obviously he doesn't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just <laughs> tired. He wants to go home. So I liked all that interaction. I liked her portrayal. Her, her yeah. backstory was quite sad. Yeah, yeah I was. She, she was a highlight. I I did that first when he announced. It, I thought they kind of just thrown her in this, ain't they? And then, like they mostly do with the X Men Fox films. As much as I love them, they did throw characters into films for no reason at times. Yeah. But they pulled it off because they realized, you know. But uh, were you, were you, when you heard she was in it, were you looking forward to how the uh, interpretation of her would be? Or did yes. You, did you, okay. I was kind of happy to did her as a younger kid rather than a teenager. Yeah. Yeah, because it makes more <clears throat> of a better scenario to me. Would, okay, would it be better if, the, if in the film they held up... Okay, if they advertised it, her in the... Uh, if they advertised the film with her as... as well, here's the thing, right? She's the main part of the film, so you couldn't even hide it from no. publicity material if you wanted to, I think. Yeah. I mean, you could try, but you'd have to... Try so hard. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to edit your trailers around with her not being there. Yeah. And it'd, it'd be... It's not like Spider-Man No Way Home, where oh, they can God. do it. Can they, uh, though? <laughs> At this point, but carry on. <laughs> no, no, but what I'm saying is the trailers don't need to show the other Spider-Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go um, whereas here you kind of she's a key part of the story. Yeah, so you can't really not have her in the trailers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But but would you would you think it would be better to have her as a surprise character in it? Nah, because you needed the, you kind of needed the whole father daughter thing, right? Yeah, it's kind of a selling point. The father daughter and a grandfather thing. You sort of need that as a yeah, selling yeah, point. Yeah. 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 Oh, crap. Um, yeah. Okay, and in, in, in the movie, right? And I, I'm, I'm forgetting this. I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure. Did uh, was her entire body coated with Vander Mantium, or was it just the claws? Just the claws. Right, because I was like, yeah, she. What, 11 years old or 10 years old there? Yeah. So she's got to grow at some point. <laughs> yeah. So, I think that's one of the reasons, in like the car, in the comics as well, and stuff like that, they kind of don't give her that because yeah. like obviously she's still growing that just mess up everything wouldn't it because yeah. obviously adamantium once the, the bones are covered in it bones can't grow yeah yeah, yeah. so it makes <clears throat> sense well i think the other logic as well like so so as you've been reading in the comics of her yeah how powerful is her healing factor compared to say say for wolverine say for not having any adamantium a mm. wolverine fully coated skeleton with adamantium from what I read, but again, this changes on a whim when it comes yeah. to the comics. Her healing factor's more powerful. Even Wolverine said it. Yeah. yeah. They, they were more powerful than Wolverine's, which I can believe because he's got already adamantium poison. Yeah. And she's younger. So yeah. everything sort of heals quicker for her. Is it more powerful than Sabretooth, though? I, I say that logically, being that Sabretooth also adjusts up and down. Depending. Yeah, depending uh, okay. on what day it is. Yeah. 
Uh, I think it's probably more powerful than his as well, because again, like, because she's they've said it, like, because she's younger. Yeah. She's her healing facts are more fast though. Her yeah. senses and that are more in t- in tuned than theirs. So. Yeah, she's top tier at the moment when it comes to. Wait, that wait. Stuff. Uh, did, did she not have a, if I remember correctly, a, a fight with Darkin? Yeah. And how did that go? To wait, draw. Darkin's abilities, by the way, are basically Wolverine abilities. Yeah. Is yes and it? no. Okay. Yeah, because he's also got the pheromone powers. Yeah. Yeah. The, the way the pheromone powers of uh, rage inducing or or pheromone. Everything. Okay. He can make you get angry. He can make you fall in love with him. Yeah. Okay. All that stuff. Yeah. All right. He's weird. Yeah. I mean, well, uh, yeah. Okay. Plus, he's got uh, the miss. I can't remember the name of the blade. His claws are uh, coated in... Oh, I can't remember what it's called. Is, that, is, that, is it that stuff that can cut adamantium? No, no, no. It's the stuff that can nullify healing factors. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, 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 the red blade. Suma stuff, blade? Yeah. No, I don't know what it's called, though, but it's a red it's a red sword blade thing. There's two. There's a red one and a, blue, a black one. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's got the black one coated into his claws. That's why his two wrist claws are black. Yeah. Yeah, or was... Okay. Yeah, um, things change. Yeah, which, which, by the way, Wolverine got his head cut off by one of these claws, right? Uh, one of these blades, yeah? Wolverine? Did, did not... Wait, Wolverine died, right? Yeah, we didn't get died. He didn't get killed by that. Oh, okay. Wait, Same Sabretooth got his head cut off with it. Hmm? Someone died and got their head cut off by that. Was it Sabretooth? Sabretooth. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's when Sabretooth went f- super feral and the only way he could be stopped was Wolverine cut his head off. Yeah. Even though he's came to his back now? Yeah. He was a... Cl- you know what? I've actually got the comic where he dies and when he comes back, and I yeah. can't remember. But, 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 okay, yeah. no, no. Like, back, back to X-23. Yeah, back um, to my girl. Yeah. What were you saying? Uh, he, in fact, so, yeah, 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 yeah. So, how did the fight with Darker go? That's, that's my question. It's one of them standard comic book fights where... It's a weird misunderstanding. They both an equal foot in, and then they're like, "You know what? We shouldn't fight. We're family." And that's how it ended. Okay, and how? And Darkin did he was he like a physical specimen at this point? Yeah. And she was a teenage girl still. Yeah. Wait, oh, she's meant to be in her twenties now. Nah, she's still a teenager. Oh, she's fifteen now. Nah, she's about seventeen or eighteen at this point. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's, that's, yeah. Um, okay, and I've got to ask. I've yep. got to ask because uh, of comic book illustrations. This is why I've got to ask this question. Right? All right. So she's a teenager. Yep. How how do they draw her chest? Because you know how it is, right? Suddenly, female superheroes just wham. They you know they they they're just massive. Do people just literally forget that she's a teenager sometimes? No. How they draw her? It's always drawn her as a teenager. Never oh. like... Oh, it's just some, chest some, some, some art, you know how some artists are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Even that, some artists, right? It's just that I think sometimes people forget that they're drawing... Children? Teenage girls <laughs> or not women. Yeah. Uh, but I'll say... What I've noticed recently, like, when it comes to that sort of stuff, when it's a teenage kid, I mean teenage kid, teenage girls, they don't yeah. really do it that much. But when it's... Obviously, someone who's an adult, like say, yeah. well, Catwoman or someone. The only one, the only girl that I've seen draw, the only person, the only female character I've drawn consistent, uh, seen consistent with a small chest size is Jubilee, right? Yeah, and she's like in, in her mid twenties now, right? I'd like to hope so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, what, what, what I'm saying is they've kept her consistently a certain size. They've never just overdone it, or yeah. you know, or, you know, what, you know, um, not like they power girled her or, or like. Um, you know, Jean Grey Phoenix, so yeah, or Psylocke, yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. They're like, yeah. all right, well, Jubilee specifically doing this body shape, and she's stayed the same ever since, yeah. yeah. Same with Kitty Pride, even well. though Jubilee's not a child anymore, you no. know, it's kind of the same with Kitty Pride as well. Yeah. She's never sort of they've never sort of drew her to be overly sexualized, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Uh, 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 should, should, do we call it overtly 
visually appealing. Yeah. <laughs> How do yeah. we put it that? How do we put it in a way that we're trying to ask actual questions about a legitimate issue? Yeah. But, <laughs> you know, it, 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 it's just one of those issues where you're like, oh, God, I phrase it in a way that doesn't make me look like I'm just staring down these, 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 uh, yeah, one cartridge drawn, you know? But I, that's another thing I've never understood why, like we've said this before, like, I get that majority of comic book readers are men, but do you need to draw these women with? Bodies that makes no sense to any logic in this world. Yeah, well, you see the other thing is why are all the men buff? Yeah, uh, except for the ones that specifically draw, like the blob, right? His yeah. body shape specifically like that, right? Yeah. So it's the anomalies. It's just like yeah, but not everyone can have no, not all men that have those that build anyways. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's... So it works. It runs both ways. Yeah, it does. Sense. It's 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 weird. It makes but, no sense. Yeah, I mean, like, no, let's put it this way. Let's put it this way, right? Yeah. Didn't Drake Robin was thirteen. Yeah. And I think he was doing kind of ordinary looking. Yeah. Until he got to sixteen, and all of a sudden he got super buff. Yeah. <laughs> no, not super buff. Super but, toned. Yeah. But with people like the Batman people, I can kind of understand why they need to be because they're just humans, so they sort of got to be <laughs> to a certain physical peak. You know what I mean? But okay, okay, yeah. mutants and stuff, they don't really need to because it might sound bad. They can just rely on their powers. I suppose. You know what I mean? Like, if I was Cyclops, all I need really is cardio because I've got eye beams. I can just blast people. I don't need to. <laughs> <like> <laughs> I was going to say, if you're telling me, right, forget you, before you even sit down, I was going to say, oh, so you're telling if you were Cyclops, you're going to sit down there, eat your potato chips, right? And just go, optic blast. Oh, yeah. he's over there. Off the blast, chop, chop, chop. Off the blast, chop, chop. It's time to sit down and get fat. Because <laughs> well, realistically, all he needs to be able to run and do that. He doesn't need to be able to, like, bench 100 kg or whatever, does he? He just needs to, yeah, just, like, yeah. be able to run to point A to point B and bzz, bzz, bzz. Yeah, yeah. Uh, somehow, somehow, funny enough, Cyclops got that ability to uh, ricochet all his force beams around the whatever. Like, the yeah. Captain America ability to ricochet his shield everywhere somehow. Yeah, maths. He's built into his brain. Maths, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. um, but even yeah. he was doing ordinary looking when he was a 16 year old Cyclops. Yeah, and then when he became man Cyclops, he's, you know, buff as hell. Yeah. All we're saying is the mutants. Yeah. Is it their secondary mutations just make them like that? Could be. Could be. Yeah. Um, okay. <clears throat> well, okay, okay. Let me ask you something about. Then age 23, right? Yep. Her, the length of her hair, right? Yeah. I know this might be a nitpick, right? But yeah. if you're regrowing cells at a certain rate... Yeah. Do they even bump... Is her hair just the, the length of that it is? And it should not even bump... You don't, it's not like they pay attention to issue to issue all of a sudden. Her hair's getting longer and longer and longer and longer. They didn't reference it about how often she get cut or whatever. Yeah. They just leave it be. Yeah, that's the same thing when it comes to like Wolverine and stuff. You know when he gets like burnt to sin, like burnt to like, a, not skeleton, but like melting flesh and stuff. And then he's skin that grows back and his hair grows back how it was. Like, is that how it works? <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Do yeah. their bodies remember the length of yeah. their hair? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Exactly. Well, they go to a certain point and they go, okay, that's enough, and it will stop growing itself. You know, it's, yeah, yeah, it's... but you would have thought, right? You would have thought it'd be like, yo, we can regrow all our cells back, yeah, but he's going to be just bold and hairless uh, yeah. for, for X amount of time. Yeah. Except that Wolverine's body seems to know the genetic template of when it was last. That length, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. But it, it, so has she had something. Um, that has strained her healing factor. I say strained, quote unquote, as much as Wolverine, like nuclear bomb or something. Like that. Is, is it her stupidly high to that level where they actually legit show something? I remember in one issue, we're, we're going to read this at some point. Um, a storyline was uh, second coming, her and Wolverine are in direct bomb blast, and they come out and they just like s- melted flesh, and then they hill that's the only sort of one i can remember yeah uh, and let me ask as well because you're saying if it's male flesh right she was in her costume at this point right yeah and when she exited whatever it was her costume 
What, she, was she drawn in the shadows? Yeah. So she can't regrow her costume back on. No. I can't. I, I think so. I can't actually remember. I was like, oh, that's. Yeah, because they go, we got to catch up because we got to get new clothes. Like, oh, okay. That... Oh, so they skipped that segment entirely. Yeah, she just got blown up and then she comes back in the next, in another, later on in the comics with her costume back on. No, they, they actually come out and they, yeah, we're going to catch up with you guys because, you know, we're not appropriately dressed. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Because they're just milked flesh. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, okay. um, I know another time she had to cut her off her own arm to get out of something. And then she took the claws from that arm. And then when she went back to the X-Fact mansion or whatever... She threw the claws and went, yeah, I need someone to attach these back to my arm when it grows back. I was like, ooh, that's right. nasty. Um, oh, okay, okay. So does she suffer from popularity power as much as Wolverine? Um, uh, Wolverine has no business fighting the Hulk, right? We know this, right? Yeah. Because, um, Liv- I did, okay, I know Marvel try and make the Hulk Wolverine fight as the Batman Superman fights of the Marvel world, right? But yep. you got to think about it like this, right? Hmm. Batman's a cunning bastard, okay? Yeah. And he's heartless. At, I mean, he's the borderline heartless at some points when he's dealing with certain things. And he's got all the money hmm. and the knowledge to deal with Superman. And Superman's a very kind-hearted person. Yeah. Hulk is not that. Yeah. And Wolverine is nothing like Batman. Yeah. Yeah. So he can heal, right? But yeah. the amount of damage that one punch from the Hulk can deal. Yeah. Uh, even if you think I was going to heal instantly from a, like you could probably okay. Why can't Hulk just grab him by the head and throw him across the the the, the ocean or whatever? You know? Yeah. Why is he Why is he fighting this guy? Why is he legit trying to fight a guy who has no range whatsoever compared yeah. to the Hulk? How big Hulk is, you know? Yeah. But but she is she had did she start fighting people that she had no business fighting whatsoever? Um, I know during war. Well, okay, okay. Let, let me let me phrase it another way, yeah, because you might be, you might not be able to remember that specific, right? But has she fought someone outside of her weight, uh, her power class? Yeah, she fought uh, the Hulk. Oh, she fought the Hulk. But it wasn't like I'm gonna fight you. It was sort of like I need to kind of distract you so people can get out of where you are. Okay, okay. So was it a fight or was she just get beat up by the Hulk? No, nah, she's just like sort of. Because I can't. Have I actually read it? Is it during. Um, uh, where's the one when Hulk comes. Not World War Hulk. No, it is World War Hulk. Yeah, yeah, that's it. When he comes back. And he comes to the X Mansion because, you know, Xavier's one of the people that sent him oh, to yeah, space. Yeah. Awesome, yeah. yeah. So X Force came and they. Tried to hold him off as long as they could until they could evacuate all the kids and stuff in the mansion. And I think she got beaten up. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Makes sense. Yeah. Oh, has she, has she, has she encountered Sabretooth? Yeah. And did she get beat up there? Nah, she beat him. She what? Yeah. Okay, that doesn't make any... Like, okay, I, I'm not saying that... Okay. Now, it's not because she's a girl or, or and then uh, I expect Sabretooth to beat up a, a girl, mm. right? I expect from experience and size, strength, advantage. That he Sabretooth give... ain't that great of a fighter, you know, right? Oh, it's true, it's true, it's true. Oh, no, but I said experience, right? As in he's been around the parts doing stuff. Never said fighting ability, let me correct you. <laughs> Even though that's what I meant, right? But yeah. you, 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 are, you, are, you are correct. Uh, but no, what do you just go? The sympathy just go. All right, I'm just gonna walk in there and and just basically we're just gonna stab each other to to the point of oblivion. She outsmarted him because like you forget, she knows how to she knows how to kill everyone involved with the Weapon X project. So she knows how to she knows his weaknesses. She knows how to if she wants to kill him. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, but uh, she beat him. She defeated him, but she didn't beat him. If, no, if you know. she didn't yeah? bite. Right. Cut his head okay. off or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, how did she outsmart him, by the way? What did she do? Just went for, like, nerve points and stuff like that. Oh, so she actually outfought him? Yeah. But nerve points don't work on these healing factor characters, right? They do. Okay, well, that doesn't... 
Okay, well, it might be convenient when you need it to, you know? Because, like, nerve points is different from, like, healing from getting stabbed. Uh, I will actually say that was a comic. Um, I think it was one of the Wolverine Origins comics. Mm. Um, where he was having a fat fight with Captain America. Yeah. I, I can't remember if he had bone claws or or, 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 or the adamantium claws at this point. Yeah. Um, and Captain America here being the classic version, which is just peak human. Mm. And he was gonna. Uh, they were grappling on the ground, and he was gonna pop his claws into Captain America's face or somewhere like that. Yeah. And Captain America crushed Wolverine's tendons in his hands, yeah. in his arm, so yeah. he could not pop his claws. But I'm like, okay, fair enough. That's kind of actually smart, but that's for use for seventies Wolverine, right? Yeah. Because he would take him maybe five minutes to heal from that or something. Yeah. Yeah. But current Wolverine. If he can heal from a nuke, this is just a minor inconvenience to him. You're going to basically have to hold in, hold his forearms in specifically for that yeah. length of time so you can't pop the adamantium claws. So it's like, uh huh. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, crushing his tendons is like a sneeze to, to Wolverine, to us, you know? But it's you, like just you, a minor inconvenience that night. Like... But you don't know. You, you don't know if it's going to sound really weird. Yeah. Smaller things like that might take along the hill rather than oh, oh no we'll say, okay. we'll say this right yeah if, if, if um, someone kicked you in the in your thigh right that hurts yeah. right yeah but if you stub your toe that hurts even more yeah, right so, yeah <laughs> so it's like one of those things like his body might be like ah this is as isn't an urgent life or death thing so he won't rush to heal it rather than like he's been stabbed in his kidney we need to heal that straight away sort of thing you know what I mean uh, I will say, by the way, throughout this conversation, that's supposed to be spotlight X-23. We, we, we go here and there on other things, right? Yeah, we did the same of, with like, you're, 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 I'm asking you a question about X-23 with no knowledge. Yeah. Uh, I only need to compare it to certain things. Yeah. Um, okay, would you say she's a worthy character to have in the X-Men roster? Because I know she's a derivative, but she's not too derivative, or she brings something fresh and new to the table? Um, uh, and, and, uh, this is not your personal opinion. No, no. Go no. for like a, a general unbiased opinion. If this was maybe, say, 10 years ago, I'd say, yeah, uh, she's just a face. But when Wolverine died in 2000 and I want to say 13 yeah. or 14. No, it was later than that. Say 2016, when he died, yeah. they when they elevated X-23 up to be Wolverine and it gave a lot more character development and like yeah. more of a character, I would say, yeah, she is worthy of being in the X. Oh, okay. Was that, was that always their plan, do you reckon, to always give her the spotlight? Like, what, from her inception, did you think mm. their game plan was to put her there as the new Wolverine? To give nah, her the... not all. Not all. So you're not saying she got the John Paul Valley push? No. Okay. Uh, hers one was actually a natural push rather than we're going to put this person down your throat and hope for the best sort okay. of thing. And we're going to have cold feet about it and then change. Yeah, they haven't done any of that. Okay, okay. Fair, 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 amazing. Fair. <laughs> but yeah, then it just have to exist at the time where they're also having other Wolverine-like characters. Um, not, not really, because, like, Darken did a retake off. Okay. He's sort of coming back around now, but... Oh, wait, wait, so you're, you're, you're okay. You're saying she's different enough from, like, okay, so you've got Sabretooth, right? You've got Wild Child. You've got uh, Wolverine, you've got X-23, you've got Darken, um, um, some other Jabronians don't remember. You've got a Romulus or whatever. Yeah. They're, 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 that whole breed of... Of Lupin's feral. all their crap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Would you, does Wolfbane fall into that category? Maybe. But again, it's another thing. They don't sort of reference that whole thing anymore because of they realise right. that Romulus Lupin stuff was stupid. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. That's fair, that's fair. But she was around at that time, but do you reckon they were going for that? Do you, do you think, okay, do you think they realise we have a lot of characters who have this wolf like whatever right yeah so should we make a whole category for them in a sub mutant category 
Or do you reckon they just did it and they were like, wait a minute. Maybe but, we have to write a backstory. What they were clever about that was, though, with when all that Romulus, all that rubbish, Lupin stuff was going on, they kept X-23 out of it. Okay. So she wasn't lumped in with that craziness. So she kind of had, like, the protection of her character. Oh, okay, okay. But would you say that's the same time as X, the NYX stuff was going on? Nah, nah. Okay. XYX was before. Oh, no, I was going to say, because if that was the same time, I'd probably want to be involved in the loop and stuff than the X, X, NYX yeah, nah, stuff. that was before. So, because yeah. during that thingy stuff, she was a part of the new X-Men and then went into X-Force. So she was always sort of more around in the X-Men stuff rather than that weird side Wolverine craziness. Like, Darkin was involved with that weird Wolverine sideline craziness. That's why some people frown upon him because of that. Oh, yeah. Oh. So, yeah. And she became Wolverine for, like, yeah. four um, years. And then she's Wolverine so, again. Okay, okay, how did she become Wolverine? Uh, as in, the, what, the Wolverine died, right? And yep. then they basically, went, one of the X-Wings came to her and said, yo... Here's a female Wolverine costume that I just happened to have. No, it's not even that. Right, Wolverine died, and then there was a short comic series called... Oh, what was it? The Wolverines. So it had everyone who was, like, sort of involved with Wolverine. And it was like, which one of them's going to become Wolverine? Kind of like Battle for the Cow without... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. And... Oh, they... on, at this point as well, was Darken the... Dark Avengers version of Wolverine. No, he was alive again. Never explained how he came back alive. Yeah, he just was. Yeah. Yeah. Still haven't really explained. But yeah, so he thought, oh, it might be Darkin, or it might be Sabretooth, because Sabretooth's good at this point. Or it might be Lady Deathstrike. (laughs) Yeah. Or Ace-23. So they, they fought some guy who had something to do with Wolverine. And the facility that made him. And then someone said to her, You oh what who you've done would make your father proud. And she's like, you know what? To live on his legacy, I'm gonna become the Wolverine. And she became Wolverine. Oh, all right. Yeah. And I can imagine, by the way, I can imagine. I know that that weren't probably the exact line, but I can yeah. imagine someone in the comics, whoever's writing it, did those exact lines. Yeah, so it was something like that. The over dramatization of it. Yeah. I think it might have been Kitty Pride, because it makes sense. Because she's like his adopted daughter, so I think it was what, Kitty then Pride. Wolverine came back and basically said, "Yo, you're the... okay." So, are there two <laughs> Wolverines out there, or she's called X twenty three, or what? All right, this is where it gets weird and stupid, and then good again. All right, yeah. during that time, you know, Old Man Logan was here yeah. when Wolverine died, so it was like we still have a Logan in our universe. So he came. He gave the blessing for her to be Wolverine as well. Um, then Old Man Logan died because original Logan came back. And then... Well, original Logan just magically came back, by the way, yeah? Yeah, he's how he comes back doesn't make... It's not been explained really either. Is, I there, is, there, is there a way you can quickly compress how he came back or should we just allow that for now? I can explain to you because it's literally what it is. He just appears back and he has healing claw. He has heat claws. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then so X twenty three just became X twenty three. No explanation. Just she's X twenty three again. Okay. And then when he did this whole sort of semi reboot Hick um John Hickman X Men stuff, halfway through that she became Wolverine again. Okay. So, are there two Wolverines about, or are they? Yeah. Are they? Are, two they're not two Wolverines about. Two Wolverines. So she's Wolverine. He's Wolverine. Yep. Because he they said didn't, they, they didn't call her. They didn't call her literally the she Wolverine. No. They just call not. her a Wolverine. Her yeah. name is Wolverine. Yeah, because someone and in the comic, how they kind of explain it was quite good because they got sent on a mission and yeah. they go, "Oh, why are you sending the she Wolverine?" She goes, "No, he's a she's the Wolverine, and don't let anyone say anything different." Okay. And then she looks at him and smiles and says, thanks. All like, right. So that's cool. is then he, the he Wolverine? No, nah, he's just Wolverine. <laughs> yeah. yeah no, no I'm, I'm just saying, logistically speaking, you know how like there's five Spider-Men running about? Yeah. At one point? Yeah. So you had 
Sp- Peter Parker Spider Man, Ben Riley Spider. Well, okay, then to be fair, Ben Riley Spider Man wasn't that. Okay, no, no, Miles Morales Spider Man. Yeah. Dark Octopus Spider Man. Uh, yeah. Spider Man, Miguel O'Hara Spider Man. Yeah. And they were they were like all in the same area. They were all called Spider Man. Miguel was in San Francisco. No, wait, he wasn't in New York. Or he no, was no, for a bit. But the only mean, yeah. of, of America, you know, in that that kind of. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I mean, I don't mind that. It's just look when you when you when you're in a group that with code names, right, with characters of the same name. Yeah. You're trying to tell someone to do something, but you don't know which one they're talking to. So both of them, they go off. But they should. They probably would never be on the same mission anyway. Because why would you need oh, two yeah, of okay. the same people, the same powers, yeah, in one true. team? <clears throat> it's true. It's true. Yeah. And Wolverine somehow magically was on like seven teams at the same time. So yeah. Yeah, but so is Batman. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Um, all right. Make 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 makes sense. Makes sense. And you're saying she's got enough of a she's distinguishable enough. From Wolverine to just not be a female version of him, yes. at, with that in character and whatnot, right? Yeah, uh, that she's a worthy addition to the X Men lore. Yeah, ish? worthy addition. Yeah. Okay, now she's one uh, of the only uh, X Men children that makes sense. If that makes sense. Okay. Because like okay. Cable, he's older than his own dad. You know, what I mean? like it's so much weird backstory. Oh yeah, no, but uh, Cable. Okay, okay, Cable's different, right? Yeah. I think I transported to the future, but then he lived his future life and then came back. Yeah, no, uh, its future doesn't exist anymore. But yeah, all that weird. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly, exactly, exactly. Mumbo jumbo. Oh, so okay, right. Now the last thing I'm gonna point out about X23. Yep. Is the skimpiness of her costume because we know her age, her the age that she's meant to be, right? Yeah. And if you're gonna say the uh, NYX storyline exists, so therefore she does wear things like this, and she thinks it is normal because of the life she led previously. Fine, right? But I don't but think... do you wait artists draw this stuff like um she's wearing like a um I don't want to even say it's a sports stuff but she's showing off her ads and I'm like right and she's wearing leathers so yeah I mean like the ones that draw her like a child get keep uh, uh, I don't want to say like a child like the ones that draw her uh, as a team yeah she, she wears what teams wear but then you got the 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 ones that take her X Force clothing. Yeah, and sexualize it, and you're like, you know. Yeah. I mean, I can I can see by the way why she would be in the X Force team. She's got black ops and whatnot, right? Yeah. Fair um, even though Wolverine didn't want her to be on the team, but Karen. Yeah, well, yeah. How can how can a murderer say to another murderer, "Oi, you got you got to be stopped being a murderer"? Nah, because how it was, the original, well, the third iteration of X Force, um, Cyclops want her on a team and Wolverine's like no I want this kid to have a life I don't want him to be like me yeah. and this is also <laughs> leads to why Wolverine and Cyclops fall out because of all this sort of stuff getting child soldiers Wolverine's not into that right. yeah. okay that's fair that's fair I thought it was the Punisher route where you know how Punisher's like I'm gonna punish all the people yeah. that kill people even though I'm the guy uh, that, that even take my idea of killing people right yeah. like oh you're on the right I'm on the right side I'm just gonna do uh, enforce it with the lethal ways yeah and now I'm going to kill them. It's like, wait, put Punisher. You're as bad as them. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, you're worse than them because you do what they're doing. Yeah. And then you're you're killing them. They're supposed to be helping you in your logic. Except yeah. that now, if they're wrong, you're also wrong. You know? Yeah. Make no sense. Make no sense. But yeah, so that's... He didn't want her to be that. And that's the only reason why he's on the team because so he can watch out right. and stop her from... Doing majorly bad things, if that makes yeah. no sense. But yeah. Okay. All right. Fair, fair, fair enough. I mean, I have to say from the. Okay. Final thing then, right? Final yep. thing. I say the proper final thing is because uh, I, I was just going to say, I like the version of in Logan. Do you, rec- do you would you have. I think they, they're saying that X Men Fox Universe doesn't exist anymore, really. Yeah. Or would you have liked to see the continuation of, of them? ex-children at the end of that movie. I don't know. Would you okay? Would you have liked to follow up, not X-23 specific, but just with her in it as part of the group or whatever? Yeah, I'd like to see. Like to see where that story continues. But apparently, I think that's one thing that Disney want to keep her. Yeah. So I've heard, because I think rumblings, again, this is just rumours. I don't know how true any of these rumours are. 
there's certain things from the old Fox X Men universe that Disney are gonna keep. Right, but it, okay, if so, they introduce her, yeah, they're just basically gonna skip Wolverine. Yeah, they can do that. Which I suppose might be a good decision for them yeah. because how Hugh Jackman, how do you replace him? Yeah, you there's. Know? It's now for Wolverine, in my opinion. <laughs> I mean, like... no, no, it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll take a, a, a length of time before people accept the new Wolverine. Uh, mm-hmm. here's, the funny, here's the thing, though. Yeah. People accepted Michael Fassbender and uh, and James McAvoy as Professor X and um, Magneto. Yeah. Because they're just playing young... I think with that, because they were the younger version, it's sort of easier to you know, accept. But like, uh, because... Yeah. They're not replacing the character, they're just Added on to the mythos. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. But with Hugh Jackman, he yeah. made Wolverine Wolverine. Like, yeah. yeah, it's a weird sort of, you can't really replace that. Like, I'll even find it weird if they sort of replace, even though they're going to have to. I like John Masterson as Cyclops, even though he didn't do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he yeah. was a good pick for Cyclops. And I didn't mind the guy who they got for to play younger Cyclops in, like, Apocalypse and all that. Yeah. But yeah, I can't really see anyone else out of them to beside them to play in Cyclops, if that makes any sense. Because they sort of made them roles them them. Yeah, I think I think for the X Men, whenever they join the Disney universe, they yeah they need a massive length of time. If they're not going to take bits that already exi- already exist and transfer them over somehow, yeah, they should just leave a massive length of time. Yeah. So not people forget, but people are like more accepting for the next generation is just more like. Hugh Jackman is just way too old now. We have to literally recast, recast because no other possibility. And yeah. people like people be right. Okay, fair enough. It's yeah. Because yeah. like I personally think when it comes to the X Men into the Marvel universe, they should just wait till they do a whole reboot of the Marvel universe. Well, because like unless like I said, unless you can merge the old Fox universe with their universe, then, yeah, it's cool. Uh, well, he, okay, here's my logic, right? Mm. Luckily for them, luckily for Marvel, mm. they had characters they already sold for movie franchises. Um, yeah. And most popular, the most popular characters at the time. And then they started their universe with the... Leftovers. Their secondary characters at yeah. that point. Yeah. yeah. Um, which are now their A characters. Yeah. But they're slowly getting the rights back to other characters. So... It's like each phase, you can center around different, more popular groups. Uh, Fantastic Four and X Men will join at a certain point, but then you're like, you got your Avengers done. Yeah. And then you can build around your Fantastic Four next, and then you can build around your X Men after that. You know. But so the only, f- like the only thing with the X Men, why yeah. I say it's hard to do, you can't just have mutants appear out of nowhere. It's yeah, yeah. that's well, the tricky part about it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You can. It would have made sense. Right? Uh, because they were there all along, but they weren't. Right? But then, with it's not like... But, but, but you're right, right. Logistically, when you're right in the universe, that's supposed to be um, uh, one massive big story. But, yeah. Yeah. Why weren't these guys ever here before? Yeah. Because, like, in humans, you can sort of get around it because no one really cares about the humans. And they're not that much of a big thing until yeah. they tried it recently with the comics. But, like, because the mutants is a human evolution, you can't just all of a sudden say, boom, you got 30% of the Earth is mutants out of nowhere. It's, I mean, and then it kind of, you can't do the ex- Unless you get rid of Xavier and Magneto and have them nothing to do with it, you can't, it yeah. doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, they're tied to the beginning of the mutants' population kind of coming to the surface in the wide array of the world. You know what yeah. I mean? So it's a bit. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I guess that'll bring us... Co- okay. <laughs> that'll bring X- us to a close of this spot- character spotlight at X-23, even though it was partially about other things as well. Yeah. But then again, that just shows my... I mean, look, it's a pretty recent character, right? And I didn't yeah. play this man, so I, I need to ask these questions and you need to yeah. give me the explanation. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, fairly meandering, but at the same time... <laughs> yeah. you got to do what you got to do, right? Yeah, exactly. But, you know, this is the whole point. You know, you ask me things, I ask you things. It's a conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, uh... but I would recommend anyone listening, um, if you want to know about X-23, like I said, um, go back, read X-23, Innocent Lost, 
target X, and then everything in her when she's a part of the new X Men, and then when she's part of X Force Volume Three, Volume Three. Okay. And her solo series after that's a bit. It's good. It's got lots of character development there again. Um, by Mar Marjorie Lou. So read that. That's like 2010, if I remember correctly. And then anything after that, yeah, read. She's great. Even when she joins the all new X Men with time disorientated Cyclops and Angel and all that, and she was dating Cyclops for no, she was dating Angel for a bit. Yeah, read all that stuff. It's good. Young Angel, Young Angel, right? Yeah. Because no, hold on. time displaced Young Angel, right? Yep. Okay, okay. So I was like, old Angel is not old Angel. Old. Classic <laughs> Angel is Dave. Yeah, he's got to be at this point. Like realistically wise, everyone who was in the first X, -Men, the first X Men members must be in their thirties, mid thirties at this point, except for Beast because he was slightly older than them, if I remember correctly. All right, so I'm just like Anyway X. I'm the man who doesn't exist in the yeah. storylines that Carl told you to watch. See you, my John. And I am plot confusion, Kyle Charles. <laughs> All right. Not saying that any of her plots are confusing, just comics yeah. in general so yeah um said reach out if you want to know anything any other bits of x23 history you want to read she's pretty cool um she also has a sister called gabby didn't throw that in there um yeah huh? something about gabby oh she's got a sister called gabby oh right 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 okay 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 Who's like, also oh, where did gabby well? come from yeah she's kind of new yeah, yeah she's honey badger she's cool yeah so um any of that, if you want to know, just let me know. She's one of my favourite X-Men. Um, if there's any characters you like and we may know about, we can do a Spotlight episode. Let us know. We'll try. We'll do a bit of research. Most oh, of oh, by the way, by the way, just want to point out. Yep. Uh, you go to Urban Dictionary, right, sometimes? Yep. Yeah. The, uh, Urban Dictionary tells me plot is also another term for boobs. So, oh. Um, so when you say plot confusion, I could also uh, I I assume you meant actual plot confusion. Yes. Aside from that. this plot of confusion, because as we know, artists tend to draw female chests varying sizes yeah. depending on who it is. So it could have been also that. <laughs> all right, all right, yeah. Kyle. You I could have used a, a double meaning to me. If we was talking about um, Power Girl, then yeah, that would make all the sense. Yeah. Oh, let's have a fun time drawing her. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, just let us know. Also, don't forget to leave a review on this on any podcast or app you listen to this on. Um, forget, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and all our face, not Facebook, we don't do Facebook, Twitter and Instagram as well. So that's all there. All that lovely, jubbly stuff. Anything else you want to say? Okay, bye. All right, bye. Oh, yeah, thank you for taking a trip around the motorverse with us. How about yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll sign off. All right. Bye. bye. Gauntlet to Hydra Command. The target has arrived. X-23 is in play. Why are you here? <clears throat> Nice to see you too, kid. Trust me, I'm just as surprised to see you. Now what is going on? You have to get out of here. I have to get out of here. What about you? You should have healed by now. Give me a break, kid. I started the morning by falling out of an airplane. You're slowing me down. Yeah, well, I ain't as young as I used to be, but thanks for the concern. You're gonna tell me what's going on now? Guess not.